Hello everyone. Today I'll be speaking to you about laparoscopic right adrenal lectern. Well, no organ is better suited than adrenal for laparoscopy and it is probably the technique of choice. Gagner in the year 1992 started the era of laparoscopic adrenal lectern. There is subtle difference between right and left side because of its close proximity to the IVC, its relation to the duodenum and the right adrenal vein is short and stout and directly drains into the IVC. When we compare the relation to the adjoining structures, the right when it grows, usually it grows underneath the IVC, it can push the liver and it can push the kidney downwards. So it grows underneath the liver. So at times we have to mobilize liver very aggressively. Whereas on left side, it is very closely related to the tail of pancreas. So we need to be very careful when we are dissecting it out. It also pushes the kidney down and spleen up. This is the usual position of adrenalectomy. What we usually use for laparoscopic nephrectomy. I prefer a bolster in case of adrenalectomy to open the space up. Ports are placed subcostal two finger below the costal margin with camera port placed four finger breadth above and lateral to the umbilicus. Coming to my first index case, it is laparoscopic adrenalectomy for pheochromocytoma. Preparation is the key in case of pheochromocytoma and a good experienced anesthetic team is a blessing. Usually pheochromocytoma are very, very vascular tumors. So as compared to the open era, in case of laparoscopy, it is not necessary to clip the vein early. Probably the intra-abdominal pressure does the trick. And many a times early occlusion of the vein can also lead to phenomenal back bleeding. The first step after inserting the port is liver mobilization and we need to mobilize the liver aggressively. All the triangular attachment on the liver should be taken care of. Liver can be retracted with the help of a blunt grasper. Peritoneum over the mass is open at a junction between the mass, kidney and the IVC, triangular junction. All the peritoneal over the mass should be excised using electrosurgical instrument up to the lateral border. We don't have to mobilize hepatic and flexure and duodenum in case of right and left me most of the time. The next step is of a right and left me identification of the IVC. IVC acts as a very good landmark. So we should start our dissection where the contour changes as I already said, said. And once we see the IVC, we can ascend up the IVC. We can follow that landmark. At times, we may need to push the IVC medially and push the mass to see the swast which lies behind. As we ascend up, usually the adrenal vein lies more cephalic direction. In case of pheochromocytoma, as they are very vascular, we may see a lot of neovasculatory as well. Those can be either clipped or cut or electrosurgical instrument can be used to take care of them. Coming to adrenal vein, we should deal with them, especially on the right side with very extreme caution as they are very short, stout and directly you know, they drains into the IVC. Right angle dissector or a Maryland helps in their dissection. Metal clips are very useful and can act as safety clips. Crystal clip may also be applied onto the adrenal. If bleeding is difficult to control, safety clips are very, very useful. There's no fixed anatomical arterial supply to the adrenal, but the vein on the right hand side are more cephalic direction. And usually I prefer the first clip as metal clip. As the vein usually drain posterolaterally, sometimes we may not be able to see the proximal margin. In those cases, metal clips really help. Once that is done, then the surgery is pretty easy. All the medial attachment of the adrenal should be taken care of. If any tubular structure is seen, then probably we can either clip them or cut accordingly. So once that is done, 
the last part of the adrenal surgery adrenalectomy is adrenal gland dissection this gland is dissected away from all its attachment any vessels if they are present they are either clipped or harmonized we should always avoid grasping the adrenal gland because many attempts especially the myelolipoma are very very friable and there is a risk of entering the gland in those cases most of the arterial supply can be taken care by the electrosurgical instrument and we did not do anything for those small artery the lateral attachment of the gland can be removed and the gland can be freed all around most of the time you don't need any drain in adrenalectomy if there is no bleeding and the specimen can be back and can be removed my next index case is a large adrenal mass this patient was having bilateral adrenal mass and underwent bilateral adrenalectomy but here i'll be dis discussing only about the right hand side it was around 17 cm mass so in case of large mass we should not hesitate to put an extra port and large fatty liver especially in obese patient many of this patient can be very obese especially in myelolipoma can pose a problem because of difficult retraction or this liver can be very very heavy and may need one more extra retraction liver needs to be mobilized aggressively all the attachments should be taken care of and it can be retracted with the help of a tooth grasper many attempts adrenal may be buried deep inside the liver in those cases we need to take out all the attachment onto the mass the peritoneal attachment so that the risk of capsular tear of liver is reduced many attempts this this large masses also grow behind the ivc so ivc may have to be retracted medially and for that we may need the extra port either supra pubically or at the midpoint between the jiffy sternum and the umbilicus remember conversion is not a failure but a good decision and we should always remember that if any tubular structure is seen especially on the medial side either they should be clipped or they should be harmonized depending on their size because these are usually some vessels which are going into the mass patience is the key in this sort of surgery once the medial attachment are taken care of rest of the surgery is usually easy we need to start our dissection at uh, from the upper border of the kidney so we need to identify the kidney and we can retract it with our left hand downwards once that is done then all other attachment can be tackled with the help of harmonic and the mass can be entirely mobilized we need to give constant traction onto the mass either with the help of a extra port or with our right hand so once that is done if the mass is completely mobilized then it's a very very rewarding surgery especially when the mass is very very large because in the era of open surgery most of these cases were tackled by a thoraco abdominal incision which is a very morbid incision and such large mass especially in this case if you have seen around 17 cm tumor can be easily removed by a small fenestral incision and the patient outcome recovery is very very fast coming to my last case is a corn syndrome corn syndrome are characterized by a very small nodule usually they are less than 2 cm and big uh, and most of them secrete uh, corn syndrome because they are secreting hormone came present with periodic paralysis so at time this small nodule are very very difficult to identify and at times we a partial adrenalectomy which is also an option may not be feasible because the tumor is buried deep under the adrenal gland in those cases where the mass is not seen i prefer removing the entire suprarenal sphere so that we don't leave any nodule behind so once that is done remember removing a small adrenal or a normal adrenal is much more difficult than removing a large 5 to 6 cm adrenal 
So once that is done, this case basically I am showing because there was injury to the adrenal vein and I wanted to show the importance of safety clip in this case. Here we can see with, because of some error while doing the surgery or some because of harmonic getting touched onto the adrenal vein, there was a torrential bleeding. And in those cases, we can easily apply a metal clip blindly. And this usually stops bleeding in most of the cases. So once bleeding is controlled, rest of the surgery is a cakewalk. We can do it very, very easily. So this case is basically to show you the importance of safety clips. To conclude, in case of adrenalectomy, the liver needs to be mobilized aggressively. We rarely need hepatic flexor mobilization or duodenal mobilization on right hand side. Creating a space between IVC and adrenal helps. Right adrenal vein is short and stout and it lies more cephalate than we actually think of. And port hopping, hopping may be very useful, especially for the large adrenal gland which goes behind the IVC. Thank you. Thanks a lot.